Hello there, this is Carlo, and welcome to a quick Maya tutorial. So this is going to be quite a funny tutorial, um, and this is going to be about uh, based around um, trains, uh, creating trains in Maya, and it's more easy than you think to do. Uh, but there's quite a bit of comic sort of um, funniness, if that makes sense, about how I get around uh, making a sort of basic terrain. So I'm going to try and explain to you guys uh, what that is. So, believe it or not, okay, I bet, stay with me on this. Uh, sorry about the bathroom, I've got the dog in the background. Um, the train was made with this picture. Yes, that's right, you heard correctly. The train was made with this picture, which is uh, quite funny. Um, all you would need to do with this picture, um, and I'll show you if you don't know how to do it, is um, change it to black and white um, and make it a JPEG sequence. Sorry, a JPEG picture. Um, because um, if you make it a TIFF uh, file, um, Maya won't recognise it in what we're about to accomplish. But if you don't know how to do it, I'll quickly show you how to do it in uh, Photoshop. So if I just open this with Photoshop quickly, um, I'll quickly show you how to change that to black and white. So once this loads, okay, so you've got your picture here, and basically all you need to do is basically come down to uh, mode and hit grayscale um, uh, discard that one and bang um, you can play around with the um, the contrast and brightness levels if you wish um, it's more easier to punch contrast up um, to give it more of a sort of darker look and that's going to work um, even better uh, with what we're doing but remember once you save um, let's just cancel that out we get file and save as um, save it as a JPEG, yeah, or a PNG. Don't say save it as a TIFF file because what we're going to do in Maya, it will not recognise it. Okay, so I'm just going to cancel that out now and quit Photoshop. Oh, I don't want to save that, and I am going to jump into Maya, and we're going to start with um, just a, a, a new sequence. We're going to come down to polygons, and we're going to create um, a plane. So I'm just going to sort of put this uh, into position and I'm just going to create um, a plane like so uh, to fit the uh, grid and I want to bump up the subdivision width to about 50 and we're going to do the height to 50 as well. So that's ready for our mesh to be added to. Now we're going to come up back up to polygons and go to surface, come to surfaces um, sorry, you can come up to edit nerves and I'm going to come down to sculpture geometry tool. So I'm just click on that and open that up and we're presented with a menu system here. Um, we're going to come down to attribute maps and we're going to open up import and simply we're going to import the picture uh, that you made, you know, the black and white uh, image. So let me just find it where I've put it oh, it's in here so we got the color and we got the black and white now watch what happens when I add that this is actually quite funny so I'm going to click on open bang automatically it's given us some sort of geometry it's given us some sort of nice um, mountain look so if we sort of render that out quickly um, we've got some spiky mountains so on and so on. now guys look um, experiment with other pictures you, you know what I mean it's quite funny to actually do it like this um, but um, it's a quick way an easy way to sort of get you guys going so what I'm just gonna do is this, I'm just gonna go into object mode and I'm just gonna elevate this mountain and what you could do is if you right click and go to vertex um, and select on a certain point you can sort of style the mountain or style the terrain as you see fit yeah, using a vertex tool so um, it's entirely up to you how you sort of make the you know the mountain look you know if you go to vertex face um, you can sort of check out what you're sort of doing there and uh, let's go back to edge mode um, you can paint you know certain detail on uh, part of the of the scene yourself and 
and just sort of manipulate it um, as you see fit. Um, but it's, it's it's quite a fun little thing to do. So um, it's it's cool to create something out of nothing just using a picture you'd never dream of. Um, so it's actually quite funny. Now to add a texture, I'm going to go back to object mode. Um, I added um, a texture that I downloaded from the internet and I'm going to select that as a blind. Um, I want to go to my file and basically it was a simple um, uh, mountain texture um, that I had. Let me just see where that is. Okay, so it's this one here, nothing special, and basically I just literally applied that um, add six, hit six to texture, and bang, that don't look too bad. I mean, it don't look great, um, but it's quick and it's painless, um, and you can get some nice results out of it, um, especially if you uh, play around with your uh, your settings here, which are based around uh, your soft tools, so you can sort of punch up the softness and sort of just play around with these settings to get the terrain uh, looking the way you want it to look basically so yes that is it really it, very quick very simple uh, a very basic uh, creating a quick terrain uh, using any black and white picture and obviously you know if you use different pictures you can get different results so just experiment to uh, see what uh, you want to do but that that looks quite cool from above as well right that's pretty cool as well so as always guys thanks for listening i appreciate your time um and please catch me in the next tutorial don't forget to give this a thumbs up uh please subscribe um, i do appreciate your support if you could just support me uh, that would be fantastic um and i'll see you in the next tutorial ciao ciao guys